Hey everyone, it's April and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another Halloween haul. I picked up a lot of goodies in the past couple weeks, so I thought it would be fun for me to do a little video and share with you everything that I picked up. If you are new, I would love for you to take a minute and hit that subscribe button. I do all things home decor on this channel, mostly like rustic primitive style, but I mix it up a little here and there too. I'm going to be having lots of fall and Halloween videos in the upcoming weeks, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. The first thing that I picked up was this wreath from TJ Maxx. I really like the look of all the pumpkins. I got a little bit of a discount. I got it for $22.50 because one of the pumpkins, um, the stems were loose and I still have to glue it yet, but the material was all sticking out and everything. And I was able to just tuck it right back in there. It was an easy fix, but never heard sass for a discount. Um, every little penny helps. But I thought this would be really nice on my front door since my door is a really dark color. Um, I think it will pop on there nice for Halloween. So I picked that up. Next, just some little odds and ends. I went into the Target dollar spot and I don't buy a ton from there anymore. I uh, kind of got out of the habit of like just grabbing everything just because it was cheap. Um, but I found these little packs. You got sets of three or two most of them but you got those three skulls and they were only a dollar then there was another pack that you got three tombstones that was also a dollar and I don't know I just thought these would be really cute to like glue on top of things if you have like a little village um, this ghost and the little black cat came together in a pack again a dollar really cute and then these two are probably my favorite. There's a skeleton cat and a skeleton dog. And I just like their little position. So cute. So I'm not exactly sure what I will do with them yet. But I will find a home. I will glue them or stick them on something. And you will see it in my upcoming videos. Next, I got this little, kind of reminds me of like a bag, and it was only 49 cents. It's ceramic. I got that at the thrift store. Very nostalgic. Reminds me of my childhood when I used to go to ceramic classes. Um, and then I also got this squishy pumpkin pie. It's like a stress ball. This came in a box in TJ Maxx. I believe it was $5.99. And I got it just to use as a decoration in my kitchen because I like to put things um, with like pumpkin pie kind of as a theme in there. So I thought that would be cute. Maybe on a tiered tray, but we'll find something to do with it. Next, at Ross, I picked up these little string lights. Uh, you get 20 of them from the Halloween shop, it says, and they were $4.99, which is a good deal for 20 lights. I don't know. I just thought they were different. I never had any jack-o'-lanterns with witch hats, so can always use some extra lighting, so I decided to grab those. Also from Ross, I found this picture frame that says, Happy Hauntings and to all a good fright and I love how the skeleton is just kind of part of the picture and has the dangly legs this was only $5.99 and I'm trying to not get so many things with sayings on them but I thought this was cool and definitely fits my vibe also from Ross I found this fall kitchen runner rug um, it's a really nice size and it kind of reminds me of one I got at Christmas time that was a gingerbread man. Um, it's by the brand Sage and Oak. Again, 20 by 48 inches and this was only $9.99, which is so crazy cheap for a rug. You can see that's what like half of it looks like and then, you know, it's just the same on the other side. But you'll definitely be seeing that in my kitchen fall tour, which will be coming up really soon. Next, I spotted these rub-on transfers at Dollar Tree. 
I just fell in love with the images. I love that hand-drawn look and the witch's cauldron and the ghosts. I don't know. I, there's, I just really, really love all of these. And for $1.25, what a steal. On the back, it shows you like all the things that you can use it on. You can transfer them onto wood just by like rubbing them, metal, paper. So I will definitely find something to do with these. Next, I got these two styrofoam pumpkins. Uh, I got these at the thrift store, and normally I'm not into the glitter, but there's something about these that kind of just make them look very, like, old and kind of rustic looking at the same time. Uh, the stems could use a little glue on the top, but they were crazy cheap. Uh, this one was $99, and the other one was only $49. I don't know what the price difference in them was, but... Either way, again, I thought they were cool, and I'll find something to do with them. Next, I found this towel at the thrift store. I uh, can't see if it has like a brand or anything. Probably like Target. And it was only $0.97. Cents, and I thought it would go perfectly with this shower curtain that I found at Burlington. It is kind of just like a plastic style kind but I just love the images on it. There's witch legs, pumpkins, ghosts, black cats, just everything I love about Halloween. And there's a little close up of what it looks like. Very, very cute. And this was only $4.99. And I actually have jack-o'-lantern um, shower curtain hooks too that I got at a yard sale one time. So I think that will go perfect. And in previous years, I didn't really go all out for Halloween in my bathroom. So we're going to try these out this year and see if it all comes together. Next, moving on to TJ Maxx, I found a lot of really cute things there. A um, couple different trips, but first thing was this frog. I always wanted to have a frog to kind of go with more of like my witch stuff, but I didn't want a green one. And, you know, kind of finding other color frogs is hard, but lo and behold, I was up by the register and I saw this guy. He's a little skeleton frog and he has all those little warts and he was only $9.99, so I had to get him. Next was this Martha Stewart mummy mouse. Um, you guys know I love anything with like felt and I got him with a little bit of a discount too. I got him for $12. They took like a dollar off just because his arm was loose on the side nothing a little glue didn't fix, but I thought he was adorable and I just liked his face and the little spiders. Next is this skeleton guy who is in a suit and I just love the texture of him and his big feet and there's a little mouse in his top hat and that was only $9.99 and I don't know I just thought he looked kind of vintage and old looking so brought him home as well and then I caved in and I got the headless horseman I've seen so many people haul this in the last couple years. I know it's been like, you know, a pretty hot commodity. And it was $39 or no, $29.99. And this one was actually all like a really dark green. So I painted it with some black chalk paint. And then I decided to paint the pumpkin orange. I've seen ones that look like this, except the pumpkins light up. But I've never seen that one in stores, so I just gave it a little makeover and made it my own. Next, I found this Light Up Witch's Broom. It was, again, from TJ Maxx, $19.99. And I don't know, I just think it's really cute. There's lights that are kind of all weaved around it. There's a spider, which... I'm not sure I'm really loving the gold, so I don't know if I'll take that off or paint it. And then I'm trying to find the little button here to turn it on for you, but I just realized I took it off. I actually put batteries in it. So let me just flip it on over here and turn it on. And there you go. Um, it's just all lit up down at the bottom. But what I like about it is that the actual stick of the broom is lit up too. So I'm not sure if I will use this in my house, maybe by the fireplace, or I'll put it outside. 
haven't really decided yet, but I'm leaning more towards inside. And then the last thing that I picked up is this Light Up Spider from Target, the Hide and Eek brand. You guys saw that I hauled a Grim Reaper, uh, my last haul that was from the thrift store for 10 bucks. Well, this one I had to pay full price for 35, but I needed one more to finish off all of the windows in my upstairs. Now I have one for each window, a different like moving light up thing. So here's what the spider looks like when it lights up. I mean, these are pricey, but they are super great quality and because they're LEDs, they'll last for many years. So I'm excited this year to have something moving in each one of those windows. It's going to be really cool. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Halloween haul. I am almost done decorating for fall. I'm just doing the finishing touches. So I'm going to start filming those um, tour videos for you guys real soon. We'll have the porch, the kitchen, the downstairs, maybe even like a bathroom and bedroom as well. So definitely subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.